All right, so the last thing I want to talk about today is looking at alkenes. Alkenes. And notice the ending E-N-E. -E. The difference that is, is that there are double bonds between carbons. You know that carbon, which has four bonds, or four available electrons, can double bond, or have two sharings, okay? And if it has two sharings, all that that is is two shared pairs of electrons, then when I clean it up, it's a double bond, okay? So a double bond just means we have two pairs of shared electrons. And all that an alkene is, is something that has a double bond. And notice the difference, very similar to an alkane, except for it's going to end E-N-E, -E. all right? Now, let's take a look at an example, okay? Um, let's say we have this. One, two, three, four, five, and we put a double bond after this second one, okay? Before I even name this, I want you to recognize that we don't have the same amount of hydrogens here, right? Because this first carbon can have how many hydrogens? Three off of this one. How many off of this second carbon? Only one, because notice we have one, two, three, and then the fourth bond, right? One, two, three, we have a double bond. So carbon can only have four bonds and since it's a double bond here between this first, this second and third carbon, then we'd only have one available hydrogen. How many hydrogens off the third carbon? One. Just the one. Here we now have two, and then here we have three. So just recognize that when asking about how many hydrogens. Again, you don't need to put your hydrogens on here. All right, but let's go ahead, I'm gonna erase these hydrogen dashes, and let's go ahead and name this. No big difference. We just need to sh tell where that double bond is. So we get a double bond after the second one. So we're going to call it two pent because it's five membered ene -E -E because it's a double bonded thing. So two pentene. There's no branches off of this one. So two pentene, the two tells me the double bond comes after the second one, and then pent because there's five, ENE -E because it's a double bonded substance. Now you could have more than one double bond, just put more numbers in front of that name. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and let's put a double bond there and a double bond there. Okay, the simple name for this thing would be two, because it's after the second, three, four, four octene, octene. Because it's after the second, the double bond's after the second, and after the fourth, okay? Now, I'm gonna keep this octene up here, two, four octene, let me go ahead and put that double bond back in there. And let's put branches, okay? No big deal if there's branches, you name them the same way. Let's put one here. Let's put one here. And um, let's put one there, okay, big deal. We've got three branches. So this is a methyl, this is an ethyl, and this is a propyl. E comes first, so we're going to call that one first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So off of the four, I have an ethyl. Off of the two, I have a methyl. And off of the five, I have a propyl. And then two, four tells me where the double is because octene because we have double bonds. So we just put that 2, 4. So the only difference between an alkane and an alkene is we're going to have these numbers before the ending that tells me where the double bonds are. Okay? Um, I'll just keep going on this last slide. 
I said it was the last slide. Folks, no. simple enough. Oh, God. Sorry. It's going to be on the video. Um, alkynes. Alkynes have triple bonds. Obviously, carbon can have three bonds between them. So, a triple bonded substance is considered an alkyne. Y and E. So, one, two, three, four, five. Let's say we have a triple there. Please realize that there would not be able to be any more branches off of this one, right? Because it's already got four coming off. No more branches off of that one either. Okay. So this one would be named. Who wants to take a shot at naming this one? Go for it, F. There's no branches, so... Yeah. Yeah, pentine, two pentine. The two tells me that the triple comes after the two, and the five is my pent, and then Y and E because it's a triple. Y and E, all right? In terms of ordering and numbering, you always go through the multiple bond first. That takes precedence, that's the trump uh, as opposed to branches. So again, if I had this, and I had a branch here, but I had a double here, okay? We would number this one, one, two, three, four, five, because the double bond trumps, we want it to be after the one, rather than numbering it the other way, if I went one, two, three, four, five, it would be after the four, so we number it this black way here, um, one through five. Even though the branch would off, uh, be off of the four, we still, the double bond or triple bond takes precedence, okay? And I know some of you are thinking, what if you have a double bond and a triple bond? How do you end it? I'm not gonna do that, all right? So you're either gonna have a triple or a double, all right?